Have you ever thought that with JavaScript programming in the Node.js language, it's possible to write and to read file content in local file system? So, no matter where your code is running, if in the user computer, if in a server, it's possible to access the local file system and to perform operations on that. So, let's here study how to connect in the local file system and make operations. Basically, with Node.js, we can use the file system model. And then we have a set of operations. Let's see that. First of all, we need to define the file we want to access. We could use the full path. Here, I'm using a local and relative file path to be easier to handle its results. So let's see operation by operation. First of all, we have the open function. The open function from the file system object, it will create a file if it does not exist. And it can also give us feedback if the file already exists or not, which is quite useful for a lot of situations. The parameters of all the functions looks the same. First, the file name and with relative or with absolute path. Then, okay, this operation changes a little according with the, the function, but uh, basically here is, is the contents. To, in this case, it's just operation for how the file will be open. will be opened for writing, for reading, for both. And then the test parameter is always the same as the function. What to do when the operation com completes. If exists one error object, is because one error has happened, then we can present the error in the screen. If it has su uh, successful completed, we can have some feedback of this output, output here. So it's the open function. And then, we have the append file function, which will write a new content in the end of the file. And here we can have the feedback of the operation result. Let's first try these first two operations. I will here delete uh, my existing files, just for we have uh, a fresh, a fresh uh, data to work with. So let's run this, this code here. Okay, first of all, it, it, with the file open function, we receive this output with the tree as the code of the file. Identify it was a new file that does not exist before. And here it is. I'll add with this content. Why this content? Because the append file function has written that at the end of the file. It's appending content to the end of the file. It's important to understand that the append file already is enough for creating a new file. We don't need to use the open function. So, for instance, if we delete this file and we don't execute the um, open function, just the append function, let's see what will happen. Okay. Right, I'll find now the open function is not more executing, just the appending function. Okay, and we need to just comment what is above. Okay, so here let's try the append function with the file which does not exist before. And let's go. Okay, content was appended, it was the feedback for the append function, and here is a file. So, a new file was created uh, without using the open function. So, we have actually three ways to create a new file, with the open function, with the file append function, and with the function we are going to see later, the write file function. Three functions are enough for writing contents to a file, or creating that. And, okay, 
Once the file is created, I want to read its content. Here we have the file, it arrives here. We can edit that manually. New file content appended with node.js programming. Okay, we have a new file contents now. I, I don't want to execute anymore the, um, the append function. Let's go directly execute the read file function. Basically, it receives the file name. It's always the same because you're always working in the same data, data source. So it's quite uh, simple to read the, the content of a file. We give the, the file reference here in the first parameter and then the, the, the output of the function. What's important here? That the data parameter of the output function identifies the binary data of the file. It's very good because not every file is a text file. Many files could be with a binary content, images, videos, Excel sheets, and, and others. And so it gives us it in binary format, but if it is a string, we can just pass that to string with the two string method. So let's take a look in this, this function. Let's execute that. And here it is. Look, the file content naturally is a binary array, but for passing to string, we have the file content in string format. Look, already with our addition, because it really comes to this file, to this file and take out its content to the console. Right, we are almost there with our functions to handle files. So we already know how to read files. Okay, we can keep that, no problem. Hmm, we can write new contents to a file. Replace, not just append, we can replace totally the file contents. So here could be, we can change the file contents to new file contents. Okay, and it will just take to overwrite the role content of this file, if there is any content, with this content. Or always, if the file does not exist, also create a new file with this content. So here is the original content of the file. Let's run our code and take a look. Okay, it has written and new file content. The old content was overwritten because we have used the write file function. And okay, but now I don't want the file anymore. I want to delete the file. We can delete the file with the unlink function. Quite easy to use. Just pass as reference the, the file uh, parameter, the file name, and it will say if some error happens when deleting or not. And here's the file. So this file has to, to vanish from, from here after we have executed the unlink function. Okay, we have just to clear that. And let's try again. Okay, the file was deleted. It's not here anymore. But for me concluding the demonstrations, I need to keep the file. So I will now comment the delete function. And now the last function we're going to see is how to rename one file to a file with another name. So um, we can I'll just comment that first. We can now recreate the file. Okay, the file is here, it's recreated. And with the rename function that's here. We can change the file name to any other file name. For instance, file name rename it or new file name rename it, for instance. And now let's run that and you see that this file will have its names changed. Just for you see that's the same file, let's include ah okay, but the content will be overwritten during the execution of the code. So no problem with the content. Let's just sync uh, the name 
changing after executing this code. You need to hear new file name renamed because the file was really renamed and we can see it's the old file content because this content was written in a file, was written rear in, in a file that was named for example text file text. And here it is a demonstration about how to handle files content using Node.js programming language.